In a matter of minutes, this house in Springfield will be crawling with police. Dispatch, 911 emergency. Yes, there's a guy on the corner. It's out here shooting a gun off. He's been shooting a gun off all day. We have officers on the way out there, okay, ma'am? Okay, thank you. The man who lives here was arrested after a five-hour standoff. He was charged with a litany of crimes, including using weapons while intoxicated. During their search, according to this report, police found a small arsenal, guns, knives, even swords. It's what cops discovered in the basement of this house that moved us to investigate. Take a look at these police snapshots. Cooking pots and pans, a hot plate, in boxes of teeth. Any guesses? Tom Susie, ABC6. Can you tell me what's going on in the basement of your brother's house? Excuse me? ABC6 investigators learned it's a dental lab, and he's been running it out of his brother's basement for about a year. Some of the dental appliances he makes, like dentures, are sold to area dentists for their patients. We caught up with him outside the Springfield store after he neglected to return our calls. I got my vendor's license hanging up. I got my EI number from the federal government hanging up. So you're legal, ready to go? I'm legal, ready to go. You heard right. There's absolutely nothing in the law preventing him from running a dental lab out of this basement. For that reason, we are not identifying him. The labs aren't regulated, nor are the people that work it. Do they have to be licensed? No. Certified? No. Lily Wrights is executive director of the Ohio State Dental Board. She says dental labs in Ohio are not regulated. When it comes to dental appliances like these, Wright says the buck stops with dentists. They're sterilized. They're made of the right materials for the patient. It's what they ordered and that it ultimately works. State Representative Heather Bischoff sits on the Health and Aging Committee. We showed her these pictures. The freshman lawmaker did not mince words. I think it's a call to action for the legislature. Representative Bischoff told ABC6 investigators that her office plans to take a closer look at dental labs and determine whether or not there should be some sort of regulation and minimum standards of operation. We don't know what's going on in that basement. <laughs> uh, every industry has standards. Um, you pull in the health component, it may make it more complicated and raise the minimum standard, uh, but in any condition, this is an unacceptable standard. Everything's clean? Everything's clean. He tells me his standards are fine. He says he cleans his lab daily and the appliances he makes are safe. I sterilize all my products coming out. All my products are sealed in bags coming out. But how does this home lab stack up to other dental labs doing business in Ohio? Take a look for yourself. So that's the waxing department here. Lonnie Thompson runs Image Gallery in Dublin. Her lab appears clean and orderly. Thompson says the equipment is state of the art. They kind of look like they're waxing here. And this is what the lab we found in the basement of a home looked like. It's a lot of makeshift stuff. And this isn't how I would, anybody should be making teeth. Thompson has worked in this industry 40 years. She's also president of the Ohio Dental Laboratory Association. Like Representative Bischoff, Thompson supports regulation. There should be some sort of standard that, that this doesn't happen. In Ohio, dental techs are not regulated or required to be certified. Where'd you get trained at? Uh, I got trained at a London Correctional Institution. In 1998, he was sent to prison for robbery. He did three years. During that time, he completed a one-year dental tech program through Columbus State Community College. Everyone's cross-trained here. Thompson says there are two-year dental tech programs available. And if you meet specific requirements, techs can get certified through the National Association of Dental Laboratories. In Ohio, though, none of this is necessary to work. Thompson says maybe it should be. Minimal standards anyway.